So many of you have told me that the Connecticut shooting has brought back memories of January 8th, the tragedy that we experienced. Well, tonight, a handful of groups dedicated to memorializing the lives lost January 8th is asking for the first time, asking for your help. Not on your sides, Maggie Vespa is live at Ina and Oracle with the latest from the January 8th Memorial Fund. That's right, Jennifer, and this announcement concerning a more large-scale January 8th memorial was planned long before Friday's shooting. This is all the more poignant now, though, as you said, to Tucsonans. That point seemingly emphasized by these roses laid on Safeway's own January 8th memorial, obviously, or seemingly, I should say, left here since the Connecticut shooting unfolded. Now, today at the University of Arizona Medical Center, heads of the January 8th Memorial Foundation announced they are taking their efforts public for the first time, asking for your input meaning the viewers on what you want your memorial to be, where you want it to be, what its purpose would be. Those are the kind of questions they need answered from you. So far, the group has been gathering ideas from a more narrowed uh, focus group from survivors of that day and victims' families, including Ross Zimmerman. His son, Gabe, you'll remember, was a staffer for Congresswoman Giffords when he was among the six shot and killed in the January 8th attack. There's been a lot done to remember Gabe, and my family's very satisfied with all the things that have occurred in that regard. But we have not completed the process of developing a community memorial. And as I said, that's something that he would have liked to have seen carried forward properly. This is not going to be simply a piece of public art, simply a sculpture in a park. This is going to be about democracy at its core encouraging people to gather, to enjoy our climate, and to enjoy the spirit of Tucson. Now at this point, there are several memorial ideas floating around, such as building a new downtown plaza or some sort of amphitheater and a convention center. There is also talk of having more than one official memorial site. And if you would like to weigh in on this process, you can head to one of two websites at this point. The first one is rememberingjanuary8th.org. The second one is uh, tucsonpimaartscouncil.org. And if you can have time to write all that down, all this information will be on our website, kgun9.com. Maggie, this announcement today obviously about moving forward and healing. Wondering though whether anyone there was talking about Friday's tragedy in Connecticut. Jennifer, they absolutely were. Just like the rest of us, everyone that we spoke to sort of reacted differently. You heard from Ross Zimmerman earlier. He described it uh, obviously as a horribly sad event, but said, unfortunately, it wasn't that surprising. He just feels like mass shootings like this have become all too common. Uh, we also spoke with January 8th survivor Jim Tucker, who said watching Friday's coverage was like picking off an old painful scab that hadn't yet healed. And you'll hear more from them both and their experiences in regards to uh, watching Friday's shooting tonight on K. Gun 9 on your side at 10. Maggie, we'll see you then. Thank you.